Hi all, I have another interesting game of Leela Chass here, ID 467 against Stockfish 6. So this is with Leela playing white, D4. We see the Slav defense, Knight F3, Knight F6, Knight C3, E6, E3, Knight BD7, Queen C2. So this is the start of a naughty move after Bishop D6. The Shablov Shirov Gambit which I hope you can guess is the move g4 now taking hasn't been tested here we haven't seen the game with Leela where black takes until here stockfish 6 did take this so intuitively we can say that this gambit has opened up the g-file potentially there's pressure on the g-file but it has weakened these light squares a bit hasn't it f3 and h3 that might be interesting for black at some point later we see rook g1 and instead of the knight retreating we see knight takes h2 taking out the h2 pawn as well so knight takes bishop takes so the gamut is well and truly accepted here even if white wins a pawn back it's still a pawn down for white the rook comes back to hit the bishop the bishop drops back so where is the compensation here well e4 is played now we have knight g6 and now e5 so e5 does mark quite dangerous squares in black's position d6 and f6 however black here also has resources and plays the move d takes c4 which unveils an attack on the d4 pawn and the center will be extremely wobbly if, if that's taken then e5 is going to drop so white actually plays bishop e3 so currently is two pawns down so black, uh, three, four, five, six, seven pawns now for black. Black's only lost one pawn so far. Uh, so we see a, an aggressive forcing move as well, knight h4. And it seems as actually this is not so easy to meet, knight h4. If rook g1 or rook h2, then in both cases there's knight f3 check winning the rook. Uh, so if rook g4 then knight f3 check is annoying the king can't really step over here without allowing a disaster like that king e2 might actually be a plausible position to play from however Lila has a different idea and you might think hold on a sec has has she forgotten about another little trick black has here so black plays knight f5 which is forking the rook the bishop and the center pawn <laughs> so uh yeah you can't save all three at once in this position you know if rook h3 then knight takes d4 is actually quite uh at least okay for black to take out that center pawn it's it's very very interesting and on rook f3 the same thing T taking out that center pawn uh is is leading if, if this is saying the black's got a big edge here clearly so this is a problem isn't it well guess what is played in this position if i give you five seconds to pause the video okay white castles queen side leela castles queen side just offering an exchange sack so this is taken f takes g3 but we see immediately in this position there is a big threat here of knight e4 to f6 so black is has got some concerns already and plays a radical move to address that concern f5 to close up that e4 square white gets Lila gets one of her pawns back so now it's only the exchange down and the pawn <laughs> however there is also now a strong threat of things like g4 in this position g4 would seem to be undermining black's d5 so actually black maybe tries to address that with h5 locking down g4 knight e2 and now there's a threat potentially of knight f4 well, that's that's a nice idea to hit e6 and also h5 we have a5 knight f4 rook h6 protects the e6 pawn 
But now Leela hits the h5 pawn. And black gives that up with queen e7. We have knight takes h5, rook h8, and now the move g4. So, yeah, still attacking black's pawn chain. Bishop a7, g takes f5. And now here it's actually very, very dangerous for black. Uh, black played b5, so Stockfish played b5. If e takes f5, then rook g1 is strong. Uh, very, very strong. What does black actually do here? There's big threats of rook g7, knight g7, knight f6. So if bishop e6, we can just take that and we've got the, the knight fork, for example. If it's uh, bishop d7, we've got knight check. It's it's horrible. And then there's bishop g5. There's big, gigantic threats now after rook g1. Uh, so uh, basically, yeah, this this is too dangerous to take because of rook g1. If we look, look at this position, so actually black uh, concedes something. Black plays b5, and now leader is delighted to be able to play f6. So she isn't any pawns down now, and in fact her pawn chain is pretty aggressive. So, but there is a technical issue, isn't there, of the knight and bishop hanging in this position? Small technical issue, but there's a tactical move here available. Guess what? White can play here to save the day with both of these pieces. Well, in fact, in fact, there might be more than one way to save the day. Uh, there might be a, a check as as well as what was played. But actually, uh, Leela plays Bishop d3. This is more interesting in some respects. Uh, so one point is that if Queen takes h5, then we can just take here and then Bishop g6 check. And the more subtle point about Bishop d3 is that if Rook takes h5, White has, guess what? This is the more subtle point. White has Rook g1 here threatening Bishop g6, to which Black is awkwardly placed and can't really do anything about that. Uh, if bishop d7, bishop g6, if king d7, and um, well, there's even rook g7. Uh, so this is this is awkward. This rook g1 here. So in fact, it turns out now that bishop d3 is adequate, uh, reserving the possibility of doing the check at the moment. Uh, in fact, here. The check isn't played. Knight g7 check isn't played. We have the knight retreating to f4, threatening bishop g6. So black castles queenside to get out of that. Rook g1, rook h g8, and now bishop g6, queen f8, king b1, king b8. So what's going on here? Is there enough compensation? It looks visually it's it's nice. The aggressive pawn chain. Is it enough? A3, rook c8. Queen f2 is played, rook c7. Uh, so queen f2 supports the next move a bit more. Bishop h7 supporting the rook. The rook was already supported anyway. But uh, the queen is ready to jump onto that g file now. So queen takes g1. Queen h6. Bishop d3 with the big threat of knight takes e6. You'd think black would want to do something about that. But. Um, doesn't rook c8 is played uh, if queen f8 trying to get out of the way then queen g7 is actually strong this would be a very dangerous pass pawn if that's taken that would be absolutely uh, horrendous if this is taken you know things like bishop h7 uh, so and in this line if queen c8 f7 again you know the pawn's winning basically winning material so uh basically here after bishop d3 uh this was allowed after book c8. This is allowing knight takes e6. So, Lena now from going two pawns down in the opening, then it was like one pawn, then it was two pawns. And anyway, currently is now, uh, you know, pawns up. Yeah, two pawns up, in fact, for the exchange. So, this is getting to be big compensation. Queen h5, knight g5, bishop e8, king a1, bishop b6. 
e6 two connected pass pawns beautiful with f7 it's going to be winning material it would seem you'd think queen f1 queen h4 queen f4 check just willing to trade off queens now at this stage because we've got these gigantic connected pass pawns being rammed down stockfish's throat here after f7 bishop e7 the game was adjudicated as a win for white there are various ways to be technically uh, completely winning here maybe one of the strongest might actually be not to take the bishop immediately but put a bit of torture in with knight f3 for example bishop f8 bishop e4 ready to snap e8 and then take c6 with it so like this for example gives another two connected gigantic pass pawns bishop g5 saves uh, any issues here white has a gigantic advantage there so yeah this was another interesting example Leela chess showing actually this gambit system has got a lot going for it even if black accepts the gambit system this shablov shirov gambit accepted uh, the idea of the exchange sacrifice uh, was it was played relentlessly in a way the pressure on black's position until black yielded some pawns back after that you know the connected pass pawns were ample compensation for losing the exchange earlier hope you enjoyed that one comments questions like shares appreciated thanks very much